You never know who you'll meet at a Ford Fest or a Ford Victory Party, whatever they're calling this. And here is Toronto Councillor Giorgio Mammoliti, maybe future Toronto Mayor, who knows. First of all, what about that, Giorgio? What's your future in terms of municipal politics? I want everyone to stay tuned uh, for tomorrow's announcement. I'll be making a, an announcement on the John Oakley Show on 640 Radio. Okay. And they'll know exactly where uh, where I'm going to go. It's, it's wonderful, uh, after 28 years, to be able to have options. Uh, and I'm going to take advantage of that option this time around. Now, uh, Giorgio, what um, do you make of uh, Ford, uh, Doug Ford's speech tonight? What was the, the most resonating part of his speech for you? Well, for me, it was uh, it was how everyone, and that's so, I mean, the speech was fantastic, but if you just looked around uh, the room, uh, it was mesmerizing. And what was more mesmerizing was the fact that a guy who, said, who, who has been criticized uh, by all, uh, and saying that he's divided a party, has actually brought everybody together and has brought a number of parties together in one room. So it's not just about the PCs, it's about all the other party members and people who support parties that are actually going to vote for him. You know, that's a very good point, uh, Giorgio. Do, do you think that Doug Ford has essentially saved the PC party from itself? Not only has he saved the PC party, uh, in my opinion, he, is, he has guaranteed the PC party reigns uh, for probably another 15 or 20 years at least. And that's because of leadership, and that's because of his messaging, and that's because of his branding, and that's because he's been able to bring everybody under the tent. Even people from other parties are under the blue tent. And, and Giorgio, how would you compare the PC party under Doug Ford versus what the PC party was under Patrick Brown. Well, first of all, you're talking to a loyal Ford supporter, as you know. I've, I've stuck through thick and thin with them. I've defended them to no end because I know them and I know who they are. Um, Patrick uh, was there. He had a great shot at this thing and he's had some difficulty and he's got to straighten out those difficulties. You're not going to be able to straighten those types of difficulties out as the leader of the party. It would have made you look weak. Uh, so even, Doug, even aside, though, from his you know personal problems, and he's dealing with that in court, um, I'm just thinking in terms of uh, the nature of the party. First of all, Patrick Brown, the first thing that came out of his mouth at the annual general meeting when he became leader, Giorgio, was how he supported the carbon tax. And every, you could hear the, the room deflate. And the first thing you hear from Doug Ford going back weeks ago is that carbon tax over his dead body essentially so that's where I'm getting at the policy differences between the two men well parties want a leader that speaks their language right and uh, the conservatives are very clear in terms of who they are uh, and their ideology uh, and you heard it when Patrick made that announcement and a number of other announcements by the way uh, that many people maybe many loyalists in the party were not happy with that with him as the leader for making those kinds of commitments without touching base with people. And so that's the clear difference between him and Doug. Uh, Doug is loyal to the party, party messaging, and to the people, uh, and he won't stray. I, I think what you saw was Patrick stray, uh, actually straying a little bit, and that's, that's one of the reasons he's not there anymore. And Giorgio, assuming Doug Ford does become Premier and gets a majority government, what is the first order of business he has to address in terms of fixing Ontario? The budget, uh, I can assure you as I'm standing here uh, and as I live and breathe in, 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 my, in, in my body that the $8 billion is not $8 billion. Uh, I assure you that we're going to find out what it really means. And then after we find out what it really means, uh, we are, and, and Doug and everyone uh, on our team is going to have to figure out how to bring that down without hurting people. And, uh, and, and it's going to be a difficult task, but that's the first thing on our mind. Thank you for your time, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you, Thank you Giorgio.